ArcScript is a writing system that uses a new type of writing tool called the ArcPen. It is an experiment in alternative ways that writing could have evolved. The ArcPen is like a compass, except that both points are used for writing. It can carve or write with ink or lead. Carving is simply done by connecting two strong sharp points together. Writing is done by connecting two pens or pencils together. When using pens, if you just strap two pens together, you will find it very hard to anchor the pivot point. Carving doesn't have this problem as much, because one end can just be driven deep into the material to create a very strong pivot point. As you can see, if you just combine two normal pens, it is hard to pivot. Either the pressure on both sides is even, and they are both touching the paper, but the pivot point is not significantly stronger than the moving point, and it easily slips and alternates between pivot points. Or, the pressure is leaned on one side, but then the other side lifts off the paper very easily, leaving gaps and very light lines. To solve this problem, we need to modify the mechanics of the pen slightly. Here you see the arc pen in action. It can anchor its pivot point very strongly while still producing nice solid contact with the moving point. Unlike a compass which accomplishes this by using a solid spike as its pivot point, here both points are pen tips. This means it can alternate pivoting between points while writing. Here are the two pens you just saw. The first pen, the orange one, is just two regular pens strapped together. As you can see, there is nothing special about them, but that is why they don't work very well. And here is the arc pen. Notice the tips are retractable. Here it is disassembled. I removed the original pen cartridge, replaced it with a smaller one, and added a spring. I then added a space filler because the new cartridge was much shorter than the original. It is important that when the spring is fully contracted, the pen still sticks out of the casing. You want to use the tip as your pivot point and need to apply a decent amount of pressure at the same time. But you also want the uncontracted writing side to apply a much lesser pressure, but still enough pressure for good writing. So this requires a balance of the length of spring and the tension on the spring. Different types of pens may write better with different amounts of pressure, so that will also affect your choice in spring and tension. This pen that I found has a screw cap, so I can insert the spring a bit long and loose, and then adjust the tension as desired. There are many ways the arc pen can be used. Here are just some of the characters that can be produced. These characters all use some very restrictive rules, such as no moving both pens at once, no lifting either side of the pen, no backtracking, maximum three pivot switches per character, rotations and mirrors don't count as unique characters, etc. I have written a PDF introducing the arc pen and lay out one of the possible approaches to using these characters and design rules. There is a link to the PDF in the description below. You can create way more characters if you don't want to use such restrictive rules. I only chose these rules because I wanted to experiment with the characteristics most unique to this writing tool. Here's a quick and simple alphabet using ArcScript. I just chose characters based on their letter frequency in English. The characters with the least amount of strokes got the highest frequency letters. And here's a quick example of me writing Hello World with this alphabet using the Arc Pen. One of the neat things about the Arc Pen is if you take your time, pretty much everyone has perfect penmanship. You don't have to learn to draw a straight line or to draw a specific curve. The Arc Pen takes care of that for you. Just like everyone can draw a perfect circle with a compass, everyone can draw perfect characters with an Arc Pen. As long as you don't try to go too fast or you're not restricted by the angle of a camera that's invading your writing space like me in this video. It may not be the most efficient writing system, but it definitely has some interesting advantages when it comes to carving and the fact that you don't need very many penmanship skills to use it. So it's not completely ludicrous to imagine a writing system that may have started this way. It's meant to be a fun experiment that can be used in conlang conscripts or world building, so it's just for fun, but it is an interesting idea. It could be very interesting to use it for an abjad or syllabary. You can probably find enough characters with some major component that has a bunch of minor components added to it so that you can do an abjad or a syllabary by having elements that seem combined into a final character. And I definitely see some potential for a featural language in here because the, all, with all the circles and the arcs, you got a lot of things that look like mouths and the curves in throats and tongues. So I won't be surprised if somebody can find a very good featural application for this. It might be adaptable for a logographic script, but I think you would have to allow some more interesting things like 
drawing with a single point of the pen as well, or pulling straight lines with the pen, so that you can draw much more complicated pictures. There is a limit to what you can draw with just the arcs like this. But there's no reason you can't just pick it up and also use it as a regular pen.